It's only been in the last couple of years that things like VMware have become normal 
in the following instructions. It wasn't that many years ago. If you recommended to someone one virtualization instruction, they would laugh at you. Now, you have to justify why you wouldn't. So really good technology does virtualization. Really good technology does virtual logic. It will take you know, sometimes years and years to mature in, in some ways and some instances. And so for someone to be looking at the success of something like XDME today and using that to judge whether it's going to do well in five years, I think is a little, a little silly. I think that a lot of these technologies are, are young. They've had a, have a, a lot of opportunities. They have a lot of potential. And that they should be given the opportunity to do so. Moving forward, you do have some interesting points of, of, of change. And that essentially, while it's nice now that everyone's doing 64, you are going to run into some interesting scenarios depending on what the adoption rate is of your individual technology. Because essentially, while things like PyCon and, uh, and, and Cyber Piano will continue to develop for years and years and years, but for nothing and ever, there are a lot of things that will change. Uh, you do get to some interesting scenarios, say in like 20, uh, you know, 2016 through 2014, where if something like Forty Gig Ethernet has already been shipping, or I mean, I've already seen. Um, I'm sure you guys have as well. Dual port 40 gig Ethernet cards. Uh, I saw an interesting presentation with regard to something that was happening with uh, some device that only shipped three motherboards with two USB inputs. Uh, but uh, you know, you do start running into some interesting uh, areas where essentially the desire of perhaps not to do everything over one cable, but to do everything over the same cable, becomes very can get a, a large number of, of uh, you know, 100 gig interlace uh, for, for a fairly cheap price, that does get up to some, some effect on how you run things. Uh, and cer certainly with 400 gig uh, different uh, with the, with the network cards as well. So, so we'll see. You know, we'll see where this goes. But you also have to remember that, uh, you know, most, most IT organizations I knew I was having a good quarter when no one told me. Right? When no one called and no one emailed me, I was completely ignored. I was fine. Because it meant that everything was okay. And it was really only when something broke that anyone actually got in touch with me. And if you really think about it, like imagine somebody did a test on you five years ago. And for the first year, completely ignore that test. Dog brought you a pot of gold. And only when that dog did something bad did you give up the gold. In a year, you would not come back for a dead man. You got a dog and a t shirt that said Easy Linux. This is what we do to our users. And so as a result, they're very resistant to change. Because it doesn't just have to be better, faster, clearer than what it has, it has to be so much better, faster, clearer than what it has that it's worth those risks for them. It's worth the risk of producing something that has 0.006% less performance and 1,600 developers call me and tell me they can't use it. There's a very built-in reward model for not doing that. So as a result, a lot of this stuff doesn't really matter what we invent. Uh, they're just going to need to change the way that we do things. Maybe two, five, six, Two hours to set this up, and then two hours to set it back up. Sorry, not two hours, but like two hours to set it back up. And I'd like to get all the new stuff in there. And then I'll set it back up. So, you know, you create this model where you, you, you don't really reward by pushing risk. You can't really be punished for trying and failing. Uh, and so, you know, once again, for the NFS comment earlier, um, I'm sure like me, Many of you have served for most of your career with many forms of software. And uh, I can tell you that there are 
Like I said, if, if any of this is really interesting for you, uh, get the deck, uh, send me an email. I'm more than happy to, to go into much more depth on these uh, if you have insomnia, uh, behavioral health issues. Um, but I uh, just kind of want to give you guys a, an overview of, of what, uh, what some of what uh, that side of the house is doing, and uh, basically so that you can feel as, uh, as fully at ease with what I'm doing. And uh, we're essentially at break in about one minute, but um, I'm happy to stick around if anyone has questions. Um, feel free to step up to the mic or uh, grab a seat afterwards. But, uh, but thank you for your time, and I hope you guys have a good week.